back for another episode of Path 7. Um, just got finished running a mile. I uh, did about two sprints. Just getting everything back in perspective, you know, just, just, just being very patient with myself. I slept till about 1 o'clock. Uh, got in bed by like 10 or 11. Um, in a really good space spiritually, just um, allowing life and God to dictate for itself. Everybody feel involved, we ain't got nothing to worry about. Everybody's at peace, everybody's doing their thing. And um, the universe is working. The universe is working just as it should. And um, it just takes time just to, uh, just to grow into who you're trying to become and who you are. So just be patient with it. Um, one of the spaces I'm in right now is just patching up a few more holes in my oar. Allowing myself to keep growing, allowing God to just keep uh, keep me in, in faith. Not allowing man to dictate my future, but allowing God to dictate my future. Because a lot of times you would think it is God, but it's actually like a lot of people from your past lives and people who are trying to like enforce their own will and call it God. And that's one of the things with me. I'll never, I'll never make it more than it need to be. I kind of just let it be what it is. That's what I mean by just being humble and allow yourself to be humiliated when God wants you to. It's not a job that you want, but when you're a true servant for God, you're not somebody who wants to be like a, 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 a Lord of Film. Lord of film. I mean, you're not going to have a lot of uh, you know, material possessions and things like that. You're just going to allow God to do his thing. And it's one of those things, it's, it's, as, as you are becoming who you want to become, life will dictate the pattern that you're supposed to be on or the path you're supposed to be on. And when you are doing this work or coding or whatever you want to call it, it's, it's a beautiful thing because you start to understand that when you have light, a lot of people will do a lot of things for a fracture light. As that's one of the things I've learned from Egyptian magic or magic that does with mirrors or a lot of just refracting light It's an interesting thing because like the further you get into like how light works and how light can be refracting and how information is all different forms of light that is being distilled upon you You allow things to be what they are and not what you want them to be And that's allowing God to truly like be a servant of God at the moment or being a servant for God forever because like I said, anybody can have temporary wealth and temporary like knowledge of things, but what do you do when God pulls the plug and you're not getting that, that source of light? You want to go on a path and find that light again. It's never hard to do, but just how well are you able to find self upon your journey of, uh, of, 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 of not allowing yourself to be shrunken, distorted, or uh, placed in, in situations that don't suit you positively or don't help you grow. So it takes a lot of patience, it takes a lot of humility to be in these moments and just knowing that you're nothing more than a vessel for God. So if you don't allow God to, to work through you and for you, or you don't get, allow yourself to work for God, then how are you going to get the things that are infinitely supposed to be placed upon your life? These are the things that like you figure out in time. That's why God puts you through so much soul development so when times like get hard like this, you'll be able to to distort to uh, to get back the source because you know the work that you've done. And you know that all things through God will always be possible. And, um, you know what I mean? You trust the process, you trust the growth that comes from God. Because everything is from source. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be called God, but source, whatever you want to call it. No one's acting like trying to get you to distort your life. It's just 
how well, how knowledgeable are you of self? So like when things start to fall apart, the, the boat gets a little rocky, the, rock, the path gets a little unsettled. What are you going to do? How are you going to return back to self and allow self to rehabilitate? Because as somebody who's going through so much 12 house distortion, and you have so many people stealing and, and trying to like take your life from you, you got to find a way to either climb that ladder or, or find a way to descend that ladder so you can get back to the people, help the people who need your folks. And it's, it's like, for people to say that I'm, I'm growing into this person, it's like, not really. I'm just unbecoming everything society ever placed upon me and just allowing myself just to um, the state of self, man. Just be humble and just allow things to come as they're supposed to. And just like, you know, knowing that I'm in the physical, but these this physical only sees through the eyes and nothing else. Because like I said, a man has, what, six or seven, six holes. I think women have seven. So as I saying that, I had a dream where somebody was imagining, like, my sacral chakra being, like, a woman's... Uh, a woman's organs, reproduction organs. It was under my 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 testicles, my testicles. Excuse me. It was weird. It was like, why is this like this? You know, like I couldn't ask God that question because I know it wasn't done by God. So it was interesting. It was one of those things where it's like it makes you question, just like what has happened to make humans fall from grace or what what is happening that these beings are like these beings what I call what some people call aliens I just call like different agents of the government and like to, to like mentally place these wounds on men to mentally like place these things on people and allow people to like sometimes believe it you know it's interesting it's, it's really it's something that's perplexing and you'll get to a place of like damn god how did this happen but you gotta understand that god God has to be hands off to see how you develop and actually goes, how it grows and how things happen. So it's interesting, man. That's why I'm so happy that like I'm always being alienated because I can um I can find ways to find myself back to source and allow source to guide me along my journey of who I really am and who I'm becoming. So it's just one of those things where you're actually just allowing yourself to just to keep developing. So and not allowing things to distort who you are and you're always projecting, now you know you're protecting who you actually are. And that's all you want to do, man. Just, just, just protect who you are and just allow God to do his best. Because, you know what I mean, God can only put it in front of you, but it's up to you to follow the best or, or stay the course. Because everybody said, like, yo, man, you waiting for God, you waiting for this, man. It was like, yeah, but I was just really just serving my purpose, but God gave me the blueprint which was left in my DNA, but it, it, it was up to me to, to put the right diet together, to follow the right discipline, to be, to be structured, to do things a certain way. Everybody know, I used to get up every day at 6 o'clock and hit the gym and come back and be sat in the house for so long, but I was like, you know what? I felt myself taking a narrative of, of a slave or some type of like a prisoner and like being just like, I'm just going to sit in this encapsulated, encapsulated spot just make the best of a situation instead of like nah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna work with the universe and like show how I can grow from different situations and I can allow God to be God you know like I, I can't be God only God can be God so as I'm saying that um just being patient man being humble not humble but being being remaining patient and allowing the moment to uh to come to me instead of me always be the person who who who's trying to dictate what I want things to be and just knowing that like light is always being refracted in a certain way that you have to be the person to like you got to be the person to discern between what happens for yourself and your DNA no one can no one can uncode your DNA for you you can get all the tarot readings you can get all the the life lessons from OGs and everybody in the world but until you uncode that that DNA it's up to you I mean how great you become is, is on you. It's only you and your path. It's, no one else can take your path for you. No one can do any more for you than you do for yourself. And that's one of the things I just know, like, I'm just praying. If I pray for anything, it's my own housing, man. I really want to get my own house. It's like, I know how I would lead a situation. I know how how I would, like, grow a community. And that's why I'm just, I'm ready to, like, to, to take my path on a road and see where it goes like 
it's not that I'm petitioning for people who are watching me or anything like that. I just know, like, if I was able to, like, actually put a blueprint together, like, this blueprint's not bad for a community, but I wouldn't have made the school so big. I would have made big gymnasiums, big art rooms. I would have started a whole new type of history because everything from the past is not that it's fabricated, but it's written by the victor. And if the victor is writing your story, where are you going to be placed upon a story upon you from your victor's perspective? So, like, even if you do have your own community that, that's populated by people that look like you, we're still being told from a story that's not ours. Or not ours, but because we're still in a, a larger perspective, which is the entire humanity. But, you know what I mean? Information is only being this, is being told from you from somebody who, who beat you. And as I'm saying that, it's just like, where do we find this new age of consciousness where we're not, it's not so much division, but it's coming from a place of, humanity's unity consciousness and it's just it's coming out of like this man did this to me for the past this person did this to me in the past and it's just like all right the ultimate goal of life is to reproduce and create life which is art how do we shift from like i can't say mathematics because mathematics will always reign supreme and science is always it, there's something that like the method it can't be beaten but it goes back to just being able to be able to create But that's that's the whole purpose. And just like knowing that everything happens for divine reasons. So it's like when you are being knocked back into like lower chakras, how do you how do you bounce back up to higher higher levels of consciousness and like in a, in a situation where it's it's nothing but because like I said, it's always an exchange between lower and higher levels of consciousness. So either do you take people to higher levels of consciousness or people like put the scarcity mindset back onto you? But you gotta be so not shaken upon yourself that you gotta know, like, yo, know, like, you know what I mean? Cause you, no matter how people can say, like, you're getting the keys in many, uh, and, uh, you know what I mean? And it's just one of those things where you know, like, even even if he took me to a lower state of consciousness or the person that just walked, it's just like you gotta know, like, he's still telling you, like, them people are watching and they're still like. They're doing what they do, so you have to always just, you know, be on key and just know when life is life, in other words. Because when life starts life, and you gotta figure something out. Because nobody's actually against anybody, it's just where is your, where is your state of consciousness, like, lead in situations where things start to get, like, a little bit lower. And that's where you gotta like, you have to always be rooted within yourself where you can feel your conscience start to slip to like your roots or your lower regions, but you still have to always like keep the, the mind of heaven within the mind and just knowing that there's always more. So it's, it's tough, but like, what's life without challenge? What's challenge without overcoming different kinds of situations like that? That's why I always allow myself just to just be humble and just know that, that I'm not bigger than the moment. The moment's not bigger than me, but it's always about how I am. How I'm relating myself to the situation, how the situation is relating to me. And it's just, you know, you always you always got to keep everything in perspective, but just knowing that there's always going to be more that's placed upon you. You just got to be patient, man. Sometimes... It's like, it's times where like, God wants me to exert my force and my, my, my creative ability on the world. And other times I just gotta be patient, man. Just be patient, just know that you're not a puppet. You're just, you're just a vessel for the most high and you have to allow the most high to, to be upon you. You can't, you can't be upon the most high, like, you know what I mean? It's, it's a perspective in which you're humble enough to get the message and you know enough to just know that information is always being placed upon you. And while things are being placed upon you, it's up to you to be able to discern between what's all going on around you. And always being able to let go and to know that there's always more coming to you. It's just how, how humble are you? How how able to be in the moment are you? How able are you to, to grow upon things that you know take time, you know? And that's what takes so long. And this is where we get back to the regular state of consciousness. Saying that like it's not that I'm gonna be believe you value, but this is the part where humanity will will start to test upon how strong am I and my, my will is upon myself.
when the interference comes in, that's just telling you like, yo, like, they're like game on, like be back on the clock kind of thing. Well, not being on the clock, because that's more of a Saturnian rule kind of thing, but, you know what I mean? Just take your time and be patient. That's just one of the times where people that want to control you kind of like start trying to give you messages, but it's like, bro, I already know. Like, you can't. I'm just the truth of my situation. I'm not. I'm not somebody who's like allowing other people to dictate my, my future. I'm just kind of in the moment of like, all right, well, time to get back into the body, you know, time to get out of the people to come back to like reality. Because there are people that still work and there's people that still are in the system, but like, I'm not asking the system to to define me. I'm saying, hey, I'm, I'm doing my thing, you can do your thing, and from there we can kind of just keep, keep kind of just co-creating together, or we can create for another, like, place of In this world, but uh, in the world, but not of it. In this, uh, out of this world, but down to earth. Let's move. 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 Let's move.